Dr. Sarah Boston in the house, along with Rumble. Great to have you both. Thank you for having us. And what a wonderful story we're about to tell here. So when veterinary cancer surgeon Dr. Sarah Boston discovered a suspicious growth on her neck, she suspected that it might be thyroid cancer. And even though doctors tried to convince her otherwise, she used her me medical training to correctly diagnose knows herself. Now cancer free, that is great news. Sarah is sharing her remarkable story in a brand new memoir called Lucky Dog, How Being a Veterinarian Saved My Life. And very pleased to have you here in the BT studio this morning. Welcome to both of you. Thank you so much. It's great to be here. It's great to see you both. And what an uh, amazing story. So uh, let's go back and tell us a little bit about how you were able to diagnose yourself. I was actually in Calgary at the time doing a locum here and I was getting ready for bed and I was putting cream on my neck and I felt a mass in my neck and because I do that a lot I knew that it was new mm -hmm. and I knew that because of, I'm a surgeon I knew that it was in my thyroid gland uh, so I actually left everything went back home to Guelph that's where I was living at the time and kind of rushed into a doctor's office and they weren't in as much of a rush as I was in right. um, and so I wasn't able to get an ultrasound for over a week and so I used my husband's ultrasound machine he's a large animal veterinarian and I did an ultrasound of my neck myself wow. and because I've seen a lot of ultrasounds of dogs with thyroid cancer I, I kind of knew that it was probably gonna be something something bad mm -hmm. yeah and what were your initial feelings when you made the discovery on your own well, I don't recommend doing that. You know, it's not really a good idea to diagnose yourself, but um, I guess I was just a bit desperate. And I, I also thought it might be a cyst, and I could see that on an ultrasound, and then I would be less worried. So that was also the motivation for doing that. Um, I was just really worried and stressed, and I wanted things to move faster than they were moving. And a lot of the reason I wrote the book was I was very struck by the fact that in, in dogs with thyroid cancer, I can get them in and out of the hospital very quickly. Mm -hmm. All the diagnostics are done on the same day as their appointment, and then they'll have surgery the next day and then go home the day after that. And I couldn't even get an ultrasound for over a week. Mm -hmm. And that is the first sentence of the book, I wish I were a dog. Absolutely, yeah. I just felt very frustrated. And I've had clients tell me the same thing. They'll say, oh, you know, I, I want to come to you for treatment because it's, it's so much system in America, actually, as well. And then the, the veterinary <laughs> healthcare system. <laughs> Rumble. Absolutely. Yes. Rumble said. There you go. Rumble's He's really very excited, excited about the her, con. Yeah. <laughs> and, and he loves you, as, as we can see. And one of the takeaways, I think, in the book is around uh, self-advocacy. You would obviously be in a different position, having a different background, and being able to sort of sift through some of the information on the internet in terms of you know what you needed to know about advocating for yourself. So, what do you hope that people take away in that regard? That, that's definitely one of the strongest messages in the book. There's a lot of different messages, but I think if nothing else, if people take away that they need to be an advocate for themselves, and if they can't, then they need a friend or family member who's going to come in and do that for them. My patients have an advocate inherently because the mm -hmm. owner has to advocate for their dog. But if you think about that in terms of yourself, um, you need someone who's there for you, who's looking out for you. Mm -hmm. And not only an important message, but done with a great sense of humor. So how, was, uh, how important was humor to you when writing the book? I think humor is just a big part of my life and I think when you're going through a cancer diagnosis or anything that's difficult it is important to try to find the humor in it even if it's hard and have a good laugh so I've had some really great emails from people that are going through their own difficult times that have read the book and they said oh I was laughing in a doctor's office or I was laughing on a bus um, and the fact that the book is creating that sort of buzz and, and making people feel good and having a good laugh and sometimes a good cry uh, mm -hmm. makes me really happy yeah. so yeah cry and laugh at the same time. <laughs> yeah. It is important to find levity, though, in those situations. Absolutely. Uh, wonderful. The book is called Lucky Dog, and Dr. Sarah Boston is here in town doing a book signing at Shelf Life Books, and that's on 4th Street in the Southwest between 5 and 7 p.m. Will Rumble be at the book signing? He'll be there, yeah. He's on tour with us. So. As, as he should be. Okay, fantastic. Great to meet, great to meet you, Rumble. Thank and you. And now you can go play and go dig into that Kong. That's what he's going to do.